Which way? For what? For, wait, we're doing Zoo Adventures, right? Zoo Adventure, yep. We're in Asheboro, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, right smack dab middle state, North Carolina Zoo. Right. Your name is? Oh, Megan. Me I didn't Megan. Know that was a question. That was a okay. question. Megan. I'm Steve. I'm one of the educators here. And why are we here? Megan. But which Megan. way are we going? This, this Megan. It's right here, Megan. Oh. There's a fence. Read the sign. Home improvement. Nice. For what animals? The baboon. Awesome. So, yeah. So, we're working on completing this habitat for the baboons. And you all have asked, what's going on? Today, we're going inside the new building and sharing with you some of the construction that's going on for the new baboon space. I can't, I can't get over that fence, Steve. You I don't, can't? I don't think I'm tall enough. Jump. No, just but jump. Just. I can jump over. Well, let me get a better view first. Hold on. Where you, I are gotta, you? I gotta do some climbing. What did you just climb? On the golf cart. Why did you climb on the golf cart? So I can see the habitat. Why do you say we just go over there? Oh. That's an option? You think? Okay. All right, starting off our journey with a trip inside the baboon habitat here. This is the construction building. Uh, <gasps> wow, ferocious baboons! I can't get through the Yeah, the glass is very, very real. How are we gonna, how are we gonna do this? Oh. Like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Come on in. We're inside the baboon habitat. How cool is this? Now, dot, dot, dot. Obviously no baboons. Working on construction. We're still in a construction moment. We thought somebody, I think Karen, I believe you asked about kind of what's going on with baboons. So we thought, oh, we have an opportunity to share it with you. This is inside one of their holding spaces. The window, quote unquote, the window that Megan walked through will be the window for our guests, you all, when you come to look into the habitat itself. And there's several. There's, yes. there's a lot of them. So. Yep. So you'll be over there. Baboons will be here. How neat is that? And it's huge. How tall it is. And this Are is they the indoor use all of this? Right? Yep. Wow. Um, going, yeah. I know everything looks really just wiry right now. Yeah, we got a lot to do, but sure. I swear this looks like steps. <laughs> Did the baboons actually use the steps? So, baboons live in a very rocky, craggy kind of habitat. So this is to mimic that. So it's a lot of places for them to rest on, to hang out on. But um, <clears throat> no, no, the, the the keepers are not adapted to that kind of habitat. So oh, they will that makes mimic sense. these. So you won't be able to tell their steps per se. They're going to come in and put concrete on top of this. They'll come in and then put another skim coat over the concrete, which the uh, design team here is going to make look amazing. You've seen that before. It's going to look like a ruin. It's going to look like those caves um, like that really neat outcroppings where the Hamadryas baboon is found. So the steps are more for the keepers because they're going to have to get up there and clean up everything, as you might imagine. I really, I kind of wish it was for the baboons. No, they'll use it, of course. And then but... I kind of also want them to add a slide. You want them to add a slide? I think we're a little late on, light on construction drawings, yeah. on the CDs. I don't Maybe. even add a slide. But yeah, but look how tall it is. Megan, can you come back here and just kind of shoot up for our digital friends to see? It just keeps going. Right? And they can use all that space. There's places for the baboons to hang out. Baboons are really amazing. The Hamadryas baboon is an amazing, it actually has a really neat di social dynamic, but it starts with what's called the OMU. University did they go to? No, 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 not a university. One male unit. Oh, okay. So it's one male and a few females. And then the clans, the, the troops, the bands grow from there. 
but it starts with one male unit. And in here you can see in this space there are places for one male to hang out and have his own space. Oh, like the throne. Yeah, I guess you kind of could say I mean, that. It's kinda. a place for them to be. Um, and, and you can hear there's a lot of stuff going on. So um, we wanted to share that with. Yep. We, we, this, is the, this is the habitat. This is indoor habitat. Oh, okay. Because I was about to say, um, there's a lovely door over there. Yep. So that's how, that's one of the ways that baboons can access their outdoor space. We'll show you that in a moment. Oh, okay, and again, okay, there's okay. still some work going on over there too. Okay. Um, but we wanted to show you inside and to realize all of this space. And look how big it is. Remember, you guys know how tall I am. I'm 6'2", 6'3". Got a platform right here, for example. That looks nice. Right? So imagine a little bit of concrete on there yeah. to smooth all these edges out. And then be able to put that skim coat, that pretty coat on top. And what the design team will do is they're literally going to sculpt that concrete. They're going to sculpt it. They're going to paint it and make it look amazing because they do all the time. Nice. But look at this. I wonder, we wanted to share this with you. Oh. How about this? Wow. This is the concept, right? So the design team gets together with the animal team. So animal team says, hey, it would be nice to have places for baboons to hang out, um, to kind of get away, to hang and, and just be. Um, That's a perfect slide, though. You could definitely make this a slide, guys. I'm telling right you. All the way down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just flatten out those stairs. I bet those are the stairs we saw a minute ago. Oh, I bet. Right? So this is kind of how it all begins. Our design team, again, creates this. Wow. Gives you a 3D model to say, it's going to look like this. Does this work? And here's those windows, crags. You might have seen yep, some of those up there. Yeah, we saw those, yeah. Yep. One, of the, one or two of those is a door to an, another indoor holding, a tr another indoor holding space. Mm. And our design team is so cool. Look at the, look at the scaffolding they built yeah. <laughs> out of sticks and twigs. <laughs> way to go, design team. Right? Woohoo! But a neat way to look at the space to say, okay, this is cool. Will this work for the baboons? Animal team? This is what it's going to look like in 3D. What do you think? Animal team, design team get together, boom. Amazing construction behind us. And it's been going on a while. Well over a year for the construction so far. But it's going to be an incredible space for the baboons. And this door, I think this is so amazing. This door? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a training wall. So we're going to actually be able to train the baboons while our visitors are here through a mesh. Wow. Right? And that door is that door to the right. Yeah. Got all the construction going on, but that door is that door. Wow. Neat. There's, every time you look, there's something else to see in this space. Now, I will say, I don't think these will stay. <laughs> I'm guessing those will go away. Um, that's more for, I'm sure, the design team to get up there and do the amazing concrete and then ultimately painting work um, that will have to happen in here. How neat is that? Oh, that's the one of the doors. You see the, oh, there you go. Nice spot, yeah. Megan. Great spot. See a little bit of light coming through there. Yep, yep, yep. And you can see how that back wall continues up as yeah. well. Wow. But this is an indoor space for the baboons. And this has been created for the baboons, of course, but for you as well. So maybe in the winter time, the baboons may not be out there in the cold space, but they'll be in here uh, hanging out because there's plenty of space for them to separate, to have their own social groupings because there's three levels and it's really wide as well. So again, Megan and I, Maybe in a place we're not supposed to be. Now we're supposed, it's, it's fine. But we're inside the baboon habitat. Again, no baboons here, zero baboons here. But I know you all who are going to come visit are chomping at the bit for the baboons. We're getting there. And when this opens, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to look great. It will be well worth the wait. It's going to serve an amazing purpose. I think you're 100% correct, Megan be well worth the wait, not just for you, digital friends, who will become in-person friends, <laughs> but for the baboons as well.
few here now. Well, that's one of the windows. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I bet that is. Yeah, what? I bet it's part of the facade. Again, to give it that really cool look. Oh, so guests aren't going to be climbing that and neither are baboons. Right. Exactly. Okay. No, now we're outside right, of the okay. habitat. So check this out. You can see. This is where you and I were a second ago. Oh, okay, inside okay. there. Yeah. You're inside there. Inside, so this is the view. Outside. <laughs> inside. Outside. outside. Sesame Street would be proud. <laughs> so we have, this will work, right? So this is where you would be, digital friends who become in-person friends. You'll be here on this path, looking inside the space. This will all be textured, I am sure. It'll all look amazing because our design team is incredible. And then let's, let's show a secret. Let's tell a secret. Secret? I like secrets. This structure. Yeah. This was all built by the design team, but in their shop. So this was built and then brought to the space. And then wow. this lath, this metal lath, was secured on top to give it that shape, to give it more of a form. It's all tied together, Ooh, real nice see, and neat. Looking at this angle, you can really see the, the shape kind of it's... Oh, not, yep. Yeah. You can see where the rocks... And yeah. again, it's not just smooth. I mean, this comes it's in. Rocky. Comes... Did did you just say it's rocky? It's supposed to be rocky. Yay! They That's did a good the job. Idea. I'll 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 let them know to <laughs> approve of the job. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're right. Exactly right. It comes out and in, goes deep here, comes back out, goes down inside. So this is what they'll then shoot some of that concrete onto to give it more structure, more form, more appearance. And then they'll put another little bit of concrete on it and that's what they'll sculpt to make mm -hmm. look amazing. It's incredible what they're able to make this, this piece of metal look like. Yeah. It's truly just a piece of metal. I would never be able to do that. Right? That's great. Oh, that's a great shot, Megan. Thank I didn't see it up there to be honest. And you can see where the metal lath is coming over. Mm -hmm. How cool wow. is that? And that's what it's going to be. So a little behind the scenes on constructing the baboon habitat. And if Megan, if you come over here. So kind of like at our ocelot habitat, there's a little knit, there's a little niche. You can just kind of sneak in there and you can see where the window's going to be. Oh, that's so cool. Right? But of course there'll be a window there. Another little hidey hole for people to get a different view of the baboons. And even that's going to be textured. Absolutely. Inside. Yep. Wow. Great call. Yep. That'll be te oh, all going to look amazing. Come on down around here, Megan. Where's, I think this. Where the cement is on it already, all over there. Oh, you, you can, can see, see the some? <gasps> yeah, great spot. Yep. Wow. Perfect. So they call it shooting concrete. You're shooting it onto that metal lath, wow. that metal mesh that you see there. That's kind of cool to see the back side of it. I never thought about that. Kind of mm -hmm. see that's and what it, it looks like on the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's cool. a neat shot. Probably won't get that again anytime soon. <laughs> no. And then over here. It's if, rocks. If, it's rock, built rocks. This is what it's going to look like. So if you've been before to the North Carolina Zoo, this is the baboon habitat. This is the outdoor space. And where the fellows are working over there, that used to be the pavilion. So way over there used to be the pavilion. That was the circus tent-like structure. So the baboons would come in and out over there before. So this hasn't changed much. This habitat hasn't changed much. Mm. It's a lot greener now because the baboons <laughs> haven't been in there for a while. But that's what's going on. And then Megan, I'll tell you what, let's come this way. Okay. Pretty please. And all of this to the left is being built by the team, Whoa. right? Parker and his team up there. Hi, Parker. Wave, Parker. Thank you, Parker. Amazing job. We are showing off you and your team's amazing work. Absolutely. So all of this is built. All this to the left is built. Recently built. 
So the building, and again, that's a box building back there. So There's nothing boxy about it. This, you can really see that, uh, like, the line, you know, where you're talking about they shoot the cement and then mm-hmm. do the sculpting. You can really see that line of where they've sculpted already versus where they've still, you know, got to go back and sculpt up yep. there at the top where that new cement is. That yeah. is How awesome. How neat looking is that? Wow. This whole facade, this whole thing built as a facade for the baboons, but they still, so they have the indoor space mm-hmm. and they have all this outdoor space as well. This is going to be awesome. Isn't it? Crazy cool. Oh, I like what you, were you saying, can yeah, you see like that the, little, can you see the etching? Mm-hmm. So that's Like they're what you're starting yeah, on it yeah. there, but it's light. It's so light colored because they I haven't put now. like the yep. tinting and the, exactly. the lichen and everything on it. Yep. It's going to be incredible to see the baboons out here and knowing they can go in and out of, oh, fire. <laughs> they can go in and out of this building. This is why I'm not allowed up there. No. This is one of the reasons. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> so welding it all, putting it all together, making it look amazing. I couldn't do the height. I don't think I could do the height. <laughs> How neat, digital friends. We'll share this with you. We're trying to figure out the best time to be able to share kind of the construction part and the building. And we thought, you know what? There's stuff going on. So let's go and show you the inside of the baboon habitat. Now you're looking at the outside, the outdoor space for the baboons to enjoy. And you can actually see it's not, it's not just a big building with, you know, like it was when they started. And they were like, oh yeah, we're doing a lot of progress it's a big building and we were like yeah it looks great what's it gonna be now what (laughs) now we can actually see some of it and it's really it's looking even cooler than than i was thinking it would i don't i do not disagree one with i've been transported someplace else kind of sort of look at this what's what's gonna look like this is what it's gonna look like this is what that is gonna look like eventually. Crazy, amazing work here. Megan, can you show them the up there? Yeah. I bet you, I don't know this, don't know this, I'm a guess. That's an eroded sculpture. Maybe? I believe it. Cool, colors. What are the chances you can zoom in on the colors up here, Megan? Oh yeah, the red and yellow. Yeah, the red's over here. The yellows behind me. The white. Oh, that's your hair. Adult male baboons get gray. Kind of like gorilla. They're not quite called silverbacks, but you get the idea. Silver tops. New phrase, silver top. I'm a silver top. I like it. Eventually, and hopefully soon, this walkway will be open for you. Over there, right there, is the baboon space. So right over here behind me is that outdoor baboon space we saw over there. So hopefully soon, you'll be able to come here. We're still working. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to be done here at the space. But what a great opportunity to show you kind of where it's come from and what it's becoming for you, our in-person guests, and most importantly, our baboons. One last thing to show you, Megan, show them this. Look at this. It's moss. It's right? just moss. Right? It right? is, right? Right? It is, right? Right? It is, right? Right? Nope. Talk about attention to detail. That is applied. That is art. Wow. All of that is art. Who would have thought? To make this rock, this metal structure with lath and then concrete and then this to look like this. 
So that moss that you saw, art. It's crazy how we went from short weather to jacket weather, at least in the morning here in Asheboro, North Carolina. I'm sure one question that you might have is, where are the baboons? The North Carolina Zoo has 500 acres of space. So we actually have off-exhibit holding, off-exhibit housing for animals just in cases like this. So many of the baboons still make the North Carolina Zoo home. They're still getting treated like they would normally. They're getting trained. They're getting taken care of. It's just at another location that's off habitat. So they're still here. So eventually, they're going to move back. Fingers crossed, it's going to happen very soon. We're excited about that. Uh, Megan was saying it'd be off, awful cool to show you kind of the view that's coming once the entire space is opened. So Megan's going to turn around and show you that. It's really cool. Oh, get up. Look at this space. Now, again, not all this is open just yet. Where are we? That is Watani grasslands. That is where the rhinos, the antelope, the gazelles roam. Pretty amazing to think that soon you'll be able to see that when you come to visit the zoo and the baboons. So how about that, huh? Baboon construction, some really neat stuff happening. So much happening out here, out and about. Team working hard, want to get the baboons out. So you can imagine all of this, that wonderful space could be opened up soon for the baboons. I'm looking forward to it. I imagine they will too. All right, your Zoo Adventures team today. Again, Steve was in front of the camera. Megan's down there taping today, so I'll shout out. I'll give Megan the shout out. We can't wait to see you again Wednesdays at 10.30 for Zoo Adventures. The North Carolina Zoo in Asheboro, North Carolina. Stay safe, y'all. Bye now.